This podcast is produced and managed by Kangaroo Fern Media Lab, Australia's independent video and podcast company. We do the podcasting hard bits so you don't have to. We make podcasts easy. Book a call at www.kangaroofern.com. www.kangaroofern.com. On this episode, we will talk about regrets. Do you have any regret? Do you have any regret, most especially when it comes to pursuing what you love most? You are listening to episode 12 of Wellness Fridays with Coach Joy Karen. Let's talk well-being and mental health. Whether you're an aspiring coach, content creator, or podcaster, you need to take care of yourself as well. Wellness Friday with Coach Joy Karen. What's up, pod friends? It's Joy Karen, your creativity coach. This podcast, Wellness Friday, is a weekly show created for podcasters and content creators. And it aims to talk about creativity, inspiration, and overall well-being so you can keep doing what you love most. First, let me thank my podcast management group, Mika of Kangaroo Fern Media Labs, and to your amazing team for this platform and for the opportunity to spread the spark of creativity all over. So more and more people will do and can do what they love most as they hashtag sparkle within. Alright, on this episode, we will talk about regrets. Do you have any regret? Do you have any regret, most especially when it comes to pursuing what you love most? Let me share with you a bit of a story that helped me awaken or helped me tap into what I value most. January 2020, a year that no one expected would turn out to be redefining what normal is for all of us, happened to a lot of people, of course, and the pandemic also hit us. Like most of you, on the onset of the pandemic, I had a hard time wrapping my head around what was happening around me. Whenever I watched the news, the amount of deaths and infected were rising and it only got more and more uncertain by the minute. We took necessary precautions like most families, but by the last quarter of 2021, My parents-in-law tested positive and Aga and I tested negative. Unfortunately, my husband's mom needed to be confined since she was experiencing all the symptoms. During that moment, it was up to Aga, my husband, and I to step up since we do not have anyone else to rely on that time. Aga took charge of assisting Papa and running errands for us since Papa was sent home for quarantine. I stayed with Mama in isolation and we are blessed because we are one of the fortunate ones to have one companion per patient. For 11 days, we stayed in the hospital hoping that Mama will recover quickly. But the virus is deadly and insidious. Mama is with the creator now and yes, we miss her dearly. Whenever we are faced with misfortune or death, Regret is one topic that comes into mind. I certainly had this realization when I was in isolation with Mama. Being physically cut off from my husband was really hard. Making sure I was okay to give support to Mama, which was one of the hardest things I have done. And one of the biggest, and yet one of the biggest lessons I gained from that experience was about my voice. It dawned on me when mama needed to be intubated. One of the challenges then was how to communicate with her. We tried everything we can that is available at that moment until we had a system that can help me communicate with her. Well, not merely a system. It was more like a game of charades. Witnessing that, I can't help but think hypothetically. What if I lost my voice? Can I cope? How do you even do that? I could not even imagine. 
I'm not talking about the singing voice per se or the talking voice, but since I'm I also host and sing and also do this podcast, it's it goes beyond this voice. It's a deeper and more meaningful voice. It is about talking about the ability or we're talking about the ability to relay a message. In my experience, I sing better than I talk in a way that I can. We will be right back. Are you passionate to help other podcasters? Wanted to connect to growth-minded podcasters and service providers? The Podcast Creator Society is now open for new members. Head over to www.podcastcreatorsociety.com slash community. Are you ready to finally start your own podcast? Maybe you already have one, but need a podcast manager to help you level up. We're here for either. Book a call at www.kangroofburn.com K A N G A R O O F E R N dot com. Like what you hear so far? Make sure you never miss a show by clicking the subscribe button now. This podcast is made possible by listeners like you. Thank you for your support. Now, back to the show. I can relay feelings and emotion better when I sing and find it that I put more effort or extra effort. If I choose to say what I feel or choose to communicate what I think or feel through words. So one of the lessons I learned from this experience was to be able to use my voice to share what I really wanted to say, not just through singing. It has become one of my top non-negotiables. And to be honest, it is a challenge for me up to now. What keeps me going is the thought of losing my ability to relate, to communicate, and to connect is even worse. I would regret not saying what I wanted to say, not expressing what I am feeling, and not being able to communicate my thoughts and emotions. So pod friends, what is one thing that you have within you that you would regret losing? Is it your ability to make music? Is it your art or your gift to innovate? Can you imagine a time when you have actually lost it? How does it look like? What does it feel like? Thinking about regret might be uncomfortable for some or for most of you. But it has a greater purpose in leading us towards where we are supposed to be. No matter how hurt and painful the memory of losing mama through COVID is like, I'm still grateful for the lessons that I had during those times. And one of which is to never allow anybody... To never allow any circumstance or anything get in the way of me sharing my message. You might be holding yourself back for some time, some quite some time now. And most especially when you think about doing what you love most. Putting such a high priority and weight on other people's opinion rather than your own. And most times, surrendering before starting. Let me ask you, how long will you do this to yourself? I'm sure you do not like what you're experiencing whenever you hold yourself back, right? And let me tell you that the fear and pain of taking action or inaction stings longer than the pain of taking risks. It is and will always be a choice, pod friends. A choice that will reveal how much you see your worth. So pod friends, let me leave you with this quote from Daniel Pink. If we know 
what we truly regret. We know what we truly value. Regret points the way to a life well lived. That's it for today, pod friends. And I hope this sparked something beautiful within you. I know it's on a more serious note compared to the previous episodes, but I felt that this is one thing that would help you at the perfect moment. If you'd like to listen more of Wellness Fridays with Coach Joy Karen, don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to connect with me on Facebook, you can search Joy Karen, the Creativity Coach. The conversation doesn't end here, pod friends. Again, this one continues on the Podcast Creator Society. The link is in the description below. The Podcast Creator Society is a community of podcasters helping podcasters in maximizing this beautiful platform of sharing our message to the world. And if you're also interested, you can also join us at the Podcast Freelancers Hub. If you feel that this is worth sharing and you know that there is someone that you know that would be needing this message, please do so. It will help us reach more podcasters and content creators who might be needing that spark of inspiration, creativity, and overall well-being. Again, thanks so much, pod friends, for listening, and I'll see you again next week. Before I go, don't forget to keep on doing what you love most. That is how you sparkle within. Have a beautiful week ahead. Bye, pod friends. Are you ready to finally start your own podcast? Maybe you already have one, but need a podcast manager to help you level up. We're here for either. Book a call at www.kangroofern.com www.kangroofern.com